Hey guys, John here with Realtruck.com and today I want to show you how to install the Paramount Evolution LED grill on this 2012 F-150. As you can see here, we've got a grill out of the box. It comes with everything that you need to get it hooked up to your truck. Uh, wiring's already hooked up to the lights, uh, so all you have to do is install a harness. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to get this in into the truck. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do is get this old grill out of the truck. It's not too tough to do. There's some hex bolts across the top and some Torx uh, screws across the bottom. Okay, now that we've got all of our hex nuts removed from the top of our grill shell, we'll go ahead and remove these Torx screws and then we should be ready to pull this grill off of the truck. Okay, now we've got all these Torque screws out of there. We can go ahead and remove our grill from the truck. Just like that, guys. Set this off to the side, and then we'll be ready to put our Evolution LED grill in. All right, so we're gonna take our new grill. We're just gonna set it up on here like so. We'll make sure that we Bring it in from the top side so that our, our clips actually go in place. Now, honestly guys, this is probably the hardest part of the whole thing right here. Now, I'm going to bring this down so I can see the top of it. Okay, once we have that set in place, We'll open this hood back up and then we can start putting everything back in here. So the first thing I'm going to do here is go ahead and attach these hex nuts to the top here to hold this in place. All right, now that we've got our hex nuts attached to the top, we'll go ahead and, and put all of our uh, torque screws in the bottom. I already went ahead and put these on the ends just to hold this in place. Um, so that way we can get the rest of these in here and you just push them right up into place Kind of get them started through the through this brace bar here and then just run them in All right now that we have our grill attached we're ready to go ahead and start uh, wiring this up now I've already went ahead and wired in our wiring harness to our switch inside the truck and got that ready to go. And uh, now you will need to get a wiring harness to install this. Um, there's some different ones that are available. You just wanna make sure you get one with a switch and a relay. You can do this a couple different ways. You can either wire the center light up on its own switch and the two outer ones on their own switch so you have two switches or you can just wire it to a single switch so you turn one switch on they all come on and that's how we're going to do it on this truck so let's get this wired up so i've gone ahead and wired our two outer lights together and uh, got our, our butt connectors on here now since this is on the outside of the vehicle where it's susceptible to moisture uh, i would recommend the heat shrink tight because they come with a sealer and a glue that uh, is going to seal these up and help keep all that moisture out. So I've got my wiring run into my switch. I'm going to go ahead and hook that up right here. Now once I have these connected, then we'll heat shrink these down and then we'll be ready to wire the, the main center light into our switch wiring. Now, something to keep in mind here when you're doing this, that probably the best way if you're not used to doing, doing this a lot with a little mini torch like this would be to use a heat gun or a hair dryer and uh, that way you don't burn your wires. Okay, so we've got that all 
uh, heat shrunk down. So the next thing we're going to do is wire up our center light. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to use some scotch locks and uh, apply them right onto our wiring here. Now, something to keep in mind, because we are using scotch locks on this external wiring, is to make sure that when we're all done, that we wrap this really good in some electrical tape to help keep the moisture and such out of there. Let's have that wire in there, then we just squeeze this down and this will connect them together. Clip it closed. And then we'll do the other wire. Okay, all those in place. So we're just gonna tape all this up and then we'll uh, run some zip strips here to hold all this wiring up and keep it from hanging down here in our engine compartment. Okay guys, so we've got our wires all hooked together. Got it all taped up nicely to keep the moisture and grime and such out of it from the roads. And now we're just going to zip strip this wire up here so that it's nice and neat, doesn't get in the way of anything. And uh, plus, we really just don't want it hanging down there looking bad on the front of our truck either. So, get this all hooked up here. We've ran our wires across here. Uh, there's a couple ways you could do this. You could either wire these little lights separate from the big one or you can wire them all together and, and so they use one switch, turn this all on at the same time. And that's what we did with this particular install. So we ran our wires down and put them along this bar here, the support bar, and ran them through the hood because this is a fiberglass aftermarket hood and that allowed us to be able to do that. Uh, on yours, you can pretty much run them you know, along your hood. You can put some screws in and actually put some uh, hooks to hold the wiring in place, keep it nice and neat and tidy. We put it all on a wire loom, ran it down through, brought it out down here, put it through the firewall to our switch, and here in just a second I'll show you where we mounted the switch up, and uh, attached our relay, ran our wires all the way across, put them in this nice loom to keep it nice, neat, and tidy, hooked our hot wire up to our, our battery positive terminal with the 30 amp fuse connector, and uh, so that's all ready to go, and I'll show you guys where we put the switch in here because I know some of you guys are sometimes interested in that, so let's take a look at that. So this is going to vary depending on your vehicle, but on this F-150, all these pieces just kind of snap out of place, so that allowed us to bring this whole section out. Drill a hole in here and put our switch in here. Ran the wiring up underneath the dash through the firewall. Brought it up to our switch so we have a nice switch to turn on and off. So there you go. Uh, let's get this hood closed up and take a look at what this thing looks like all lit up. There you have it. That's how quick and easy it is to install the Paramount Evolution LED grill into your truck. So remember, until next time, happy motoring.